Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I am down at the Sabre Manufacturer where they make all of these fifth wheels and I get the privilege to give you one of the first looks of their all new 2025 Sabre 36 DBB. Now this is going to be a dual bath, dual bed setup on this, but what makes this one so special is when you walk in and most of the other floor plans, you can really tell it is a dual suite. But this one, the way that the living room and the disposition is, it's kind of hidden into there where you could use, you know, one half versus the other. Just has a really nice appearance and flow to it. So we're gonna start on the inside, work our way around the outside, probably spend about 15 minutes here on this unit. Now, all of the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, including a link for the pricing, will be down in the description. But for a little while, there might be a little bit of a delay. As again, this is an all new unit that is gonna get its debut here in about a week so probably getting to dealerships in maybe about a month to two months or so as it goes into production but again this is the 2025 saber 36 dbb and if you guys are new to the channel i appreciate you guys you know jumping in hit that like and subscribe button for daily rv content but let's go ahead and get on into the good stuff baby and this is what i'm talking about when you walk in just like the livability factor like i would say that this opening area let me go ahead and push this back in just so it doesn't OCD me out here. Um, the livability, the appearance of it just shows up really strong. So you have a full on second suite through that door. So drops down to a couple stairs into a bed with a full bath and its own rear entrance. But when you come in here, I feel like if this was walled up all the way out, you ignore the loft. This would be a decent floor plan for a non dual bed setup. You're over here going to have your entertainment with the hidden storage your cook and slide. I love the kind of the butcher wood block look here for the island. And what's nice about this, you're gonna get four stools, but also this part flips up to elongate it out. So if you're playing some, you know, apple juice pong down at the campground, you have the ability to do that. Super tall, high slide. So I'm a big fan of that. You know, I'm six feet tall. I'm not a fan of bonking my head while doing these videos. Well, this is probably sitting at about 6'10 or so for slide height would be my best guess, at least 6'8". Now, one thing that they did mention because there is a lot of videos lately coming out with these super long, big couches. They are gonna be switching this up. So this side is staying the same. This part's getting removed and they're gonna have a wider part right here that you can either flip around or put the ottoman in to, um... let me see here, let me put this on. Sorry, I'm getting text here. Let me put this on airplane mode. Um, but you can put in an ottoman to where it's going to be like the Versa Lounge. So you'll have a booth or you can have one thick fat boy style sofa. So they're switching that out because of your guys' feedback. So drop comments and let me know what you think. Now the zebra shades are in here. There's going to be your day and night shade. So you have kind of Dracula mode and then half Dracula. Or of course, you know, you can pull it up and let all the sun in. They're also going to be mirrored reflective finishes. The back two windows double up as emergency exits, but they also open up for a nice breeze. So now we are back over to this island. You have a little bit of storage over here. Again, the four stools. But what I really enjoy is the fact that this can be lifted up. It's held on by a magnetic latch. And then bada bing, bada boom. I mean, look at how much countertop space that you can have to play some games, you know, play some pong, you know, things of that nature. Maybe even use this as a working desk. Accent lighting going all the way across the top here on both sides for a nice ambient glow along with the fan. So, I mean, you can sit down with honey buns, kick your feet up, and you can watch some TV over here. Right on, my favorite brand to say, the old Sansui, baby. Sansui. And then you got two little areas for some knickknacks. You have a fireplace that's gonna put out roughly 5,000 BTUs of heat. So it'll heat up the entirety of this coach. Absolutely no problem. Hidden pantry lock's gonna be located right here. So you pull that to the left open it up and now you got a nice little stone go place for all the stuff you don't want your neighbors to know that you have. You can also hang up a couple things. Convection microwave doubling up with an oven. So I think that's pretty cool. Three stovetop burner to whip up all the fixins. And then there's gonna be your oven piece along with storage over to the left. And then to the right, the top drawer is gonna be looking like this. And then the bottom two are gonna look just like that. Convection microwave again, so more of a residential feel for that. I like the fact that it's the combo unit. You are gonna still get the old potato mode. Storage is the same left and right, and you got a place, you know, for all your bottles if you're one of those rare campers that likes to, you know, crack a few cold ones. 12 volt refrigerator, it's also gonna be a 16 cubic foot. Got the safety latch right there. But I mean, look at that. You can pack away a week's worth of food, 
no problemo. Or, you know, if you got two families and kids using the loft, maybe a long weekend at least. So two freezer sections. The bottom one's gonna be the same thing, just with the center partition. And then this is going to be your sink area. So I do like the fact that this is dispositioned and out of the way a little bit. This is gonna be the sink that became famous on the TikTok side of life, uh, where it's got the waterfall over here, a cup cleaner, and then you got your stainless steel high-rise faucet. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Hitting those dishes from all angles, baby. A couple different accessories, plus you got yourself, you know, some good cabinetry space. Bada bing, bada boom, you got your garbage can, you got yourself a pull out here, and then clean cut storage, access to your plumbing, and then two more pull out drawers. But all right, now let's check out that loft and then that second bedroom. What I like about the loft is typically the way to get up is a little bit neglected. This has a wider, beefier ladder. Usually there's these, you know, little skinny things made for just flat bellies, you know, but what about the roundies out there? How are you gonna get up there and chase your kids? Well, I'll tell you. Bigger, beefer, beefier, beefer, bigger, beefer ladder. But I love all the space you get up here. I mean, you could definitely sleep, you know, four or five kids, no problem. You also have all the outlets and everything that you need. So that way you don't hear screaming arguments uh, over that. Plus the nice thing is you have one of the beds under here. So the person that's paying for it, presumably watching this video, can sleep up in their bedroom and let the kids rain down the noise on uh, these folks. So what? You got your slide in a bed, providing you with some great foot, foot room, you know, some walk around room, daytime room. You're also gonna be inverter prepped as well. So these would run off the inverter if you choose to do that. All these windows do open up for a nice breeze. And then you flip it around over here and you got yourself plenty of storage, which I think is pretty nice. So this left side is gonna be the same as the right side. You're also gonna have your little cubbies down here just for organization, a pocket door. And now you're into the bathroom and it's going to be fairly large. You got a great place to check out the old bowling gun, baby. But I mean, look at that. I mean, heck, the way this is, I know it's not meant for it. You got plenty of other places, but I would probably, I could see myself locking myself away from here if there's a ton of kids. Sitting right there and almost using that as a desk. It's definitely a weirdo thing to do, but kind of a weird dude, I guess. All right, bada bing, bada boom, separate door. You also have a tub. So I have a three-year-old at home and she loves playing Barbies and taking baths. It's one of the few campers that actually has one, so I love seeing that, especially when it, you take into the fact that it's in the back of the camper. I think just cleaning yourself off after a long day of mudding up through the trails, pretty darn cool. Give you another little look right here. I mean, look at that. I think that would make a good thumbnail. I just think this is such a beautiful setup. I love the wood block. They're just getting a little bit more creative, I mean, than the typical, you know. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. So right next to the door here as you walk in, you're gonna have your fuse box on the floor, two floating steps, along with the control panel for your unit. So you're gonna have, you know, your fresh tank, black tank, gray tank, all that good stuff, along with your, uh, all your different slide out controls. So there's a lot going on right here between awnings and slides, pretty darn crazy. Bathroom is of good size, and I like the fact that they thought of the round belly in particular with the fact that you have the triglide glass areas and enough room for probably one and a half to two people. You just open this right up here. I prefer it on this side. I know everyone sets it up on that side, but I don't know why. That seems to make more sense to me. And then, oh, I mean, look at that. Probably about six, seven into here, six, two into here, and then you got enough room for two if you wanted to get crazy down at the campground. You got all your soaps and shampoos, even a place to hike up your leg, do a little shaving. Second mirror for a second bowling gun. You're also going to have uh, <laughs> a sink. Up on the ceiling, you got the old steamer stink sucker 3000. And you got a little nice viewing window right there. And the accent lighting, I mean, goes from here all the way back to the end. So I think that's pretty cool for a nice little, you know, midnight glow for you. Another slide here in the bedroom, again, just for more kind of walk around room. You're also gonna get some storage there underneath. And I love the headboard, a hideaway, hideaway headboard storage. Let us see, too cool. Okay, that's awesome. So I love the lighting there. I'm glad that they had a sticker because I would have never have known that or told a soul about it. Pretty darn cool. Makes a lot of sense though, since it's floating off the wall like that. That is neat. 
I mean, look at that. And there's accent lighting there up underneath. And this thing is shining like justice. You got another AC up here. Looks like another 15K. It's also got yourself a dump port. So if you want to disproportionately cool uh, this room, open that up. Stops going through the duct work. You also got a place where you can hang up your TV along with the appropriate plug-ins. And then, of course, you do have uh, four pull-out drawers there as well. A big old closet because they're going to be using, uh, I assume, the Rhino pin box, which is going to give you about 20 to 25% more room here in the front cap. So you can have things like a cubby for all of your shoes. You know, my shoes go here, the wife's shoes go there and there. You also have some hanging room, and they conveniently left a place, you know, for me. You have your prep for your washer and dryer as well. And, uh, you know, I think this is pretty good. But guys, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm going to head around the outside, probably spend about three minutes or so there. But again, this is the 2025 Sabre 36 DBB. And if you guys have made it this far, they are looking for feedback. So drop your questions, you know, maybe your concerns. Do you love it? Would you like to see some changes? You know, all of that good stuff. Because uh, these are some of the reps that genuinely care. I mean, the, she couldn't be more of a sweetheart, uh, the rep that I'm working with. And they genuinely do care. They want a good product. All right, so now we're back on here on the outside. And again, as the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, including the pricing are coming out, I will include that down in the link so you got a good resource for that. So out here, this gives you a really good opportunity to see that mirrored reflective finish there on the windows. So instead of going with your classic tinted uh, windows, they want the mirrored reflective finish. So that way you can kind of you know, move the sun out. You can see nobody's getting in there. Nosy eyes are staying out. It's also got the UV protection to keep your longevity of your, you know, furniture from fading out and things of that nature. You're also going to see two really nice size awnings that go pretty much over the entirety of this campsite. So if you're playing some games, setting up a picnic table, maybe you're grabbing a drink from this mini refrigerator out here that, by the way, can probably 